What's up guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo. How are you all doing? Yes, I'm still in the process of moving. There were some delays in the house. Things took forever. It looks like this will be the week uh, that we finally are able though to move the stuff and get it all set up and get it all nice. In the meantime, mess and things falling, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to do something that is a little late to the party because of all the chaos, but still very cool, which is unbox the brand new, or now a couple days old, but still new, Nintendo 2DS XL. The 3DS line has seen so many iterations. There was the 3DS, there was the 3DS XL, there was the new 3DS, the new 3DS XL, the 2DS, now the new 2DS XL. But this, some people are saying, is the greatest designed 3DS without the 3D yet. And I have a couple of the different iterations here. We started off, well, we started off with the OG 3DS, which I have no idea where my original one is, but they upgraded the design so much when you went to the 3DS XL, this is a gorgeous Pikachu edition. Boom, tail on the back. Uh, there also is the new 3DS XL, which adds this little nub so you can play Xenoblade Chronicles or just feel like you're touching a pencil head again. Uh, colored buttons and an XL design. Then there is the new Nintendo 3DS regular size, my personal favorite. This is the one I've been using uh, because I like the form factor, I like the colored buttons, I like the little nub, and most importantly, I like the face plate swap in action. They are discontinued, uh, or are in the process of discontinuing this model, and they don't really want, I guess, you to be swapping faces, even though that's one of the most fun things to do. I've got Animal Crossing ones, I've got Mario ones, I've got Pikachu ones, I've got like this 8-bit hodgepodge smorgasbord cornucopia of Nintendo awesomeness, everybody from Bowser to Yoshi to Rob the Robot to DK to a Splatoon Squid to Slippy to Toad to Zero Suit Samus. Freaking awesome faceplate, but today we're checking out this bad boy. They're 150 bucks, um, and it is the first time uh, that a clamshell design has removed the 3D. There was a 2DS. It was a flat, like a wedge, people like to call it. A weird system uh, targeted at kids. It was a cheaper price. This one's 150 so it's not as budget, but it's still a good price, I guess. It's still half of a switch which feels about right for this era, this time of uh, time of the century, time of the generation. Comes with a charger, that's nice. They didn't do that for a while, so we'll take that. Um, and here is the system. I've never actually held one of these, so I'm very curious to know if it feels cheap, if it feels flimsy, if it feels good. Boom, I got the turquoise and black. It also comes in orange and white. It's got a nice ridge-like <laughs> instrument on the front. This is important to me. When I'm in airports, getting stressed out, just gonna hum myself to sleep with the amazing music of my new 2DS XL. It also smells weird. It smells like it's, it smells like it's from a, from a factory that also makes like paints. No, not paints, like um, uh, like foams, foamy, squishy, like koosh balls. Boom, straight from the Koosh Ball factory, I bring you this new 2DS XL, and I uh, put a lot of scratches on this thing, but the nice part is they wipe right off because it's a matte finish. Um, there are some shiny parts around the edges, you can see, and we're gonna remove this little piece of protection and open this bad boy up. Those screens look big. It has a very mobile phone-esque design to it. A little bit of shake on that screen, that's something I don't like. Uh, if you look at some of the past designs, that was one thing that people took issue with. Um, this one got some serious shake going on. Uh, did they remedy it with the uh, the new 2DS XL? A little less shake. What about the new 3DS regular? Ooh, not a whole lot of shake. I'm just shaking that whole system. There's very little. This one, mm, it's, it's quite a bit of shake. Um, but the top part here basically looks like someone strapped my iPhone onto a, uh, a, a like a, a custom Game Boy. But it is very cool looking. You got your nice teal shoulder buttons up here. ZLZR, L and R. Uh, X, Y, A, B, they are not colored buttons like the other new 3DS's, but you do have the nub. And, do we have a stylus around here? I'm sure we do, right? Ta da It's a stylus. Is it extendo? No, it's actually squat. Squat stylus for draw and action. It's weird that they abandon styli with the Switch, although I don't touch the screen very often on Switch. Just for usually uh, home menu UI navigation in terms of like eShop. Select my profile, stuff like that. How does this guy go back in here? Breaking news, we have a super important message uh, from Mateus on Facebook. He sends a string of numbers that looks eerily familiar and at the same time just mission critical. So he writes nothing else but the following code. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you're not gonna believe this, zero. This is a very familiar sequence. I can't quite place it, but Mateus is on to something, and it's weirding me out. I feel like he's on to something. I'm getting lost flashbacks. I feel like Hurley's gonna bust out the bushes. All right, so let's investigate this a little bit further. It feels good. It's very light. It's got a nice light feel to it, and there is a, a, a tray down here. This is a unique tray. This tray is the uh, the SD card or the micro SD card tray and the game tray. So you're gonna see in there, it's a a little bit of a flimsy flap, but remember, this is trying to be a minimalist system, even though the screens are Maximus uh, up in here. So there is a lot of stuff all in the same place. So you got like the stylus and the headphone jacket right next to each other. This little tray takes the cartridges, and let's see, what game was I playing most recently in my other 3DS? Ooh, Mario Sports Superstars. Not recommended, not gonna put that in. Instead, let's find something a little bit better. Um, how about... Ooh, that might be an option, or what else do I got in here? Okay, yep, Fire Emblem Fates. That is a classic from a little bit ago, and is it gonna do a switch thing? Let me put the cartridge in facing me? No. Retrain the brain, throw that thing in backwards, and then the cartridge is in there. What's interesting is the cartridge is totally covered while you're playing, which is kind of an interesting way to do things. So the power button is down here. We're gonna boot this bad boy up. The screens feel big. Uh, this is a, a new 2DS XL. Let's compare it, let's take a look-see how it looks compared to these screens. Do they seem to be the same size? That's a new 3DS XL and a new 2DS. I could be a crazy person, but is it true? Does the new uh, the new 2DS XL have a bigger screen? No. It's the same, it just looks bigger because they've cut down on the bezel, especially at the top and bottom. That's where I said it's kind of getting that like mobile phone uh, feel with it, but it actually feels really good in the hands. The material is a very like comfy material, even though it is plasticky and not as like, doesn't feel as quality as like the, the new 3DS XL. It's definitely lighter, but it still feels quality enough to be a portable system and almost has more of a game-like system feel to it, which I kind of dig. I kind of like that a bit. There's a nice volume slider on the slide. It reminds me of like a freaking, like a pen, like a clip pen. You like click it or like, Ooh, those pens that have multiple colors and you like push down the one you want for like pink, ink, green ink, all that jazz. Um, so they're, this cannot, yeah, it's telling me all about 3D even though it can't do 3D. They're like, yo, we can't do 3D, but we're still gonna tell you a little bit about it. Uh, it is July 31st, 2017. I'm gonna get this set up and see how it goes. It's all booted now, and it looks very good. Actually, it is a very comfortable system. I love the reduced bezel. Um, I love how they've simplified the overall aesthetic of it a bit. They've done some things like they moved the home button from the center uh, in the new 3DS to the left side for the new 2DS. The buttons look good and teal. The outside, the shell looks really fantastic. Um, this is a very comfortable feel. Like I said, they make good use of space in the bottom. Not sure I really like this flap. I kind of wish there was just a cartridge and a memory card slot. Uh, accessible and I didn't have to close it up, but maybe they like the idea, or some people like the idea of keeping their game a little bit more protected, a little more secure, a little less exposed. I'm sure it also to do with the way that they were organizing the parts and the components within this unit in order to achieve the kind of form factor that they, they saw. But it does have a very cool look. I really like it. I think I'll probably use this. Uh, warning to all of you out there that want to enjoy the texture of the top, don't scratch it because those scratches kind of came off but they kind of didn't. I was just running my finger through it like nonchalantly and that's a little bit of a bummer. I would hope that this would have been a little bit higher quality of a top here. Um, so yes, don't make the mistake I did, don't scratch. All in all, it's very cool. Um, size wise, it is a little bit less tall than the 3DS XL um, and the new 3DS XL, it, no, that's not even the right comparison. The new 3DS XL, uh, it is similar in length but again, is a little bit shorter in terms of the uh, the height. So as you can see, the let's get that angle. The uh, the new 3DS has a little bit of a height advantage uh, on this by I don't know third of an inch, something about something around there. New 3DS and the new 3DS XL, um, you got a little bit more length on the new 2DS, but it's a really cool design. And outside of the fact that I scratched the top, which kind of really bums me, uh, I really like this, and I think I will probably use it. Obviously, the button layout and the D-pad and all that are identical. Um, I believe they're the same, they feel pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, so you're getting the system without the 3D, which is so weird in theory, uh, and now in practice, I guess, that they removed 
the defining feature of the system in what may be the final iteration of the system, the new 2DS XL could be the final iteration of this piece of handheld hardware, and it removes the main feature that was touted as the selling point of this handheld initially. But they've done a really great job with packaging. It looks really good. New ergonomic folding design, 82% uh, larger screens than the OG 2DS. A little C stick, obviously as your Amiibo and NFC support. It plays all 3DS games, but in 2D. Um, and in general, it looks and feels really good. And I think it's kind of a, a nice style. It has an elegant style. The 2DS was supposed to be targeted more at young kids. And the new 2DS XL um, still, you know, appeals to kids with its form factor. It kind of has like a mobile phone tablet look. It's 150 bucks. It has cool colors. But I feel like they added some more style so that this could be anybody's uh, 3DS slash 2DS. It's, it's weird. I don't want to just call it the DS because that's a thing too, uh, but this definitely is definitely fitting in a weird spot as we move into the Switch era and still maintain the 3DS era. The newest system is called the new 2DS XL. Let me know your thoughts on this. Sorry I was a little late, like I said, I've been still trying to move and get everything situated, bring you videos along the way, obviously, doing my best in this weird, wacky set. Things fall and it's, it's a mess, but uh, I'm going to bring this. I'm actually traveling, so this is perfect. going to pack this up. Take it with me and get some gaming in on my uh, my Switch and on my new 2DS XL, and we should be good to go. Until the next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this new handheld in the comments down below. Just a little informal exploration of the system for the first time with you guys and uh, the unfortunate scratching of the top of my new piece of tech. But that's okay. Just scratches. Not the end of the world. Until next time, everybody, I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a great summer, and until next time, we will see you all light. Also, because I know somebody's going to ask, this is part of the new Insert Coin Clothing Bioshock line. It's a gorgeous line. This one says Rapture Masquerade, a ball of 1959, and has the creepy rabbit mask on it. I love their line. They've got really soft shirts. They did an excellent job. These, to me, feel like their softest, best yet. I'm a big Bioshock fan, and this is not sponsored in any way, but I love the freaking shirts. I know somebody's going to ask. So I wanted to let you know they're available on Insert Coin. I'm not sure. I think some designs are sold out. This one's my personal favorite because it's got like that aesthetic that you can rock as a game shirt and also just has like a fun design shirt. Although people be like, where is Rapture? Where you been traveling, buddy? Where you been traveling? 1959. That makes me what? A solid uh, 58? Looking good for 58. Woo!